presence, Lord, we say thank you. Let's thank you for his presence that's going to flow here in our midst this morning. Let us thank you for this, the souls that is going to heal and restore. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At the end of this service, we are going to come back to testify. Lord, we want to thank you for strength. We want to thank you for your loving kindness towards us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for this past few weeks that has gone. Lord, we thank you for this one we are entering into. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for taking charge. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence that is here. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the soul they are going to restore, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for those that are still on their way. God, bring them here safely in the name of Jesus. Lord, you bring them here safely in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying that we have come here with whatever. We will not go back the same way in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. 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 Let's thank you for the world that has blessed our lives already from the, from the beginning of the service, from the praise worship, the one that is healing, from people, the song that is healing and is helping us, oh God, we say thank you. Thank you for the world that is coming out from our pastors. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving granting them grace, oh God, sufficient grace. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Loving Father, we say thank you. You are a good, good Father, Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for today because we are testifiers already. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's begin to commit you, Holy Spirit, that's going to take charge. Holy Spirit, take charge of today. Take charge. Take charge. We know that you are here already. Take charge. Take charge in the name of Jesus. I know you are here in your power. We know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, we know you are here. here in your glory. We know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, we know, we know you are here. here in your power. We know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. We know you are here. Precious Lord. We hope for today's service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Come and make your joy for us to Jesus.
trample on the feet because we have set our love upon him therefore he will deliver us he will set us on high because we have known his name we will call upon him and he will answer us he will be with us in trouble he will deliver us and honor us with long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation can we take the last part again with long life, will he satisfy us and show us his salvation? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 I'm just one praise away from my miracle. I'm just one praise away from my miracle. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Everything can happen. Everything can happen. Say it convincingly. Anything can happen. Everything can happen in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
from your breakthrough. Just one moment away from your breakthrough. Just one praise away from your breakthrough. I want you to trick light. Say, I am just one praise. One praise from my breakthrough. If you can say it, say what you see. And soon you will start seeing what you are saying. Declare miracle. Oh, I am just born oh, praise oh, from my oh, breath. Hey, oh, one more time. If you can say it, you will have it. Say the houses, say the body. so good it's so good and truly great things are happening in the mighty name of Jesus Psalm 100 says make a joyful shout to the Lord all ye lands make a joyful shout to the Lord all ye lands make a joyful shout to the Lord all ye lands see wait do you understand it's not that somebody will make that see it is a making how many of you, you you make your food right you cook it you make things happen so he said this joyful noise this joyful shout said make a joyful shout not so that the left where the devil will feel ashamed no but you are making a joyful shout to the lord god almighty who deserves it who alone is god all by himself unshakable unmovable father the lord who was in all ways will make this perfect the only perfect being the one who has been enthroned even before the time began come on can you make a joyful noise the one who created time and exists out of time the one who created space and exists outside of space the lord god almighty the maker of heaven and earth the maker of you and i come on make a joyful noise make a joyful Will happen. 
happen in this service today. Miracles will happen in this service today in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I want to encourage you to key in. It might just be the exact word you need. It might just be even a gesture. It might just be something. Just ensure that your heart is connected. Verse 2, let's go. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. I want to see Psalm 100. I need it to have it, okay? It says, serve the Lord with what? Look at your neighbor. Say, because smile. Say, serve the Lord with what? Serve the Lord with what? Serve the Lord with what? Say, are you glad? Ask your neighbor, are you glad? Are you glad? He said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. He said, come before his presence with water, with singing. Amen. He said, know that the Lord is what? God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving in your heart and in his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Even when you think that you don't deserve to be in his presence. The Bible says that for the Lord is good and his mercy was endures from generation to generation. It is everlasting. I want us to sing this song. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to is hopeless. 
even when it looks as if there is no solution or answer in sight even when it looks as if you are between walls when it looks as if you have been boxed even when it looks as if you 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 have the the, the, the chariot of Egypt behind and the Red Sea in front I still remember a God to my land of sorry of your yeah. to my world Jericho yeah. and I say that in all situations you will give thanks because this is the reason why you and I are created to give him thanks our life will give him glory yeah. when it does not even look as if he's going to that place it looks as if we are not going to fulfill destiny but at last if only they knew if only they knew what God is doing with your life and I want you with this confidence Marabba Shataya Gados and lift up your voice and worship your God and worship him with gladness jump shout shout raise your hands and know that you are free and the Bible says he that the Lord Jesus has set free he that the Son has set free free indeed and because you are free from every shackles every mindset that raised itself above the knowledge of Christ every word say no you cannot make it every word say no can't you see it I declare to your mind to your heart right now that the reality of the covenant of God makes its way into your heart this is way to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, come on, give the Lord a shout. Hey, Regardless of the situation, we will praise you. Address us, Tayagado.
I'm giving you today and if you love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and soul verse 14 then it will send the rain in their proper seasons the early and late rains so you can bring in your harvest of grain new wine and olive oil I would love us to read verse 15. It said, it will give you lush pasture land for your livestock. And you yourselves will have all you want to eat. Do you get that? There is nothing that you must lack as a child of God. Nothing. Not even wisdom. You are not supposed to be found stranded. Especially if you're serving him with all your heart your soul and your mind there is a condition to it so easily I may say that begin to declare oh I will not lack but there is a condition to not lack do we get that there is that condition of giving our heart and spirit and soul wholeheartedly to him said if you will love the Lord your God said he will even give you lush pasture land for your livestock and you yourselves will have all you want to eat no wonder Psalm 23 verse 1 says that what the Lord is my shepherd I shall not what I shall not want a sheep needs a shepherd is our Lord the shepherd and the bishop of our soul can you tell God maybe you even desire it thank you Maybe you desire that right now. Maybe it's something you really look forward to. Maybe right now you are even saying, PM, if I turn around and go back home, I don't have shake by. But God has seen you. He sees your heart. Maybe going into the week is like you are going in with so much fear. But I know a God who will never leave his own stranded. It will not. Because your gates will be continually open day and night. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare the grace of God, the mercy of God, the goodness of God rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say the favor of God rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand in my office as always as a pastor. And I declare to everyone, everyone that has called on the name of the Lord on this mountain and have served Marie one way or the other, even by handshake, even welcoming your neighbor to church. I declare over you that no famine raging this land will come near your dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. That no famine raging anywhere, Marie but by reason of your presence in that company, by reason of your presence with your client, by reason of your presence everywhere you go, I say doors are opened in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I said, by reason of you, they will experience open heavens. 
in the name of Jesus, so that your barn will be full, so that your grain will come in its season, in the mighty name of Jesus. I say doors are opened unto you, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be the stability of your times. You will know what to do. You will not be stranded, in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you will not be confused, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lines are falling in pleasant places for you, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have said it, so shall it be. And I declare is. 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 And peace of the Lord. The peace of the Lord that passes all understanding is yours in the name of Jesus. I say you will make account. You will make account. You will make account of your things. And nothing will be missing. I said nothing will be missing. Nothing will be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. 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 Anyone that comes around you, they begin to experience the blessings of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say whoever touches you is blessed. Whoever you touch is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise of God. And we say to you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all honor. To you alone be all adoration. Is someone excited? Can you give the Lord a shout? Come on, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we just begin to bless the name of the Lord in that same excitement of praise? We are not praising because it is an exciting thing to do. We are praising because we understand that it is praise.
Everybody say, oh. 
lift together for Jesus. I'm sure you can do better than that. Hallelujah. Welcome your neighbor to church. Is your neighbor smiling? Hallelujah. Please be seated and God bless you. Can the volume go up a little bit? Hallelujah. Amen. It's better now, right? I don't know why they were afraid to turn it on a bit, but it's, it's fine. Good to see you all in church today. Good to see everyone. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, ma. Thank you for guesting in today. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ijin le ni nu ijin le. Eshe wo. 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 Eshe wo. I know me sorrow. Understand that perhaps in your journey of life you will you will meet obstacles, you will meet some sometimes a reasonable level of challenge. But it hasn't changed God. It hasn't. I don't know what you have been trusting the Lord for. I don't know the answers that you seek in your heart. I don't know the questions you have. Maybe you don't even know how to articulate the words together. You, you just know that I, I can't explain this situation I can't explain it but I will wait I will wait upon the Lord for they will wait upon the Lord the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles wait on the Lord wait on the Lord wait on the Lord Wait on the Lord. I'm saying to someone this morning, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord. Stand still and know that I am God. Be still. Be still. 
be still be still and know that I am the Lord be still and know that I am the Lord be still be still and know that I'm the Lord because it is in the stillness it is in the quietness of your of your spirit it is in the quietness of your spirit that you can hear the Lord's leading you know we must have to learn how to deal with the noises in our world today so we can hear the leading of the Lord A good shepherd doesn't leave his own. He's there. I've explained to us that valley experiences is not necessarily valley of shadow of death. It's not necessarily death, but these are the the, the betrayals, the failures, the, the disappointment of life that we'll go through. I've explained to us that uh, the valley is, uh, is symbolic of a shame. The truth is, while David was writing Psalm 93, uh, the valley experience he was talking about as a shepherd, he knew that as a shepherd it might be necessary for him to lead his flock to the valley. Because that's the only way to find water certain season of the year. The shepherd actually leads his flock to the valley because it could be cold up there and he needed to save the life of his flock there might not be water up there, but he is certain there is water somewhere. And he's a shepherd who will be there, even in that dark valley, to lead a shepherd up the hill when the time is right. The one that is leading us understands. He knows what is good for you. He knows. And, you know, one day God was just, I was just thinking, and I've come to realize that as far as God is concerned, He is not bound by time. He isn't bound by time. In, in, in eternity, time has no essence. We are the one that comes here to say, you know what, it is only on this side of, her, of, of heaven, of eternity, that we say, my time is up. Or my time has gone. The way God sees time is different completely. That's why he, he put it to us in a perspective. Like, you know what? A thousand years is just like, you know, it doesn't mean anything to me. So maybe you are thinking that uh, it's over. Maybe you are thinking um, uh, this opportunity has gone. You are going to regain it. Because the truth is that you, it, it wasn't just your opportunity. It was never lost. It was never lost. It makes all things beautiful. It makes all things good. Amen. So I just said that to encourage someone today. Maybe you come to church this morning thinking to yourself, Pastor, you know, I don't know. Um, time is not on my side anymore. Time hasn't gone anywhere. Say to yourself, your time hasn't gone anywhere. All right, so this morning we'll continue our teaching series on uh, Believer's Authority. And specifically today, I'll be speaking to you on a subject that is directed to you. So I want to say to yourself that I'm a walking embassy. I cannot hear you. Say, I am a walking embassy. That's strange, isn't it? But I'm going to put a perspective to you because that's what I've come to do. See, throughout this month, my duty is just to let you know who you are. That's all. It might look like I'm being rhetorical. I will keep saying it because that's my duty. That's what I'm supposed to do this month, to tell you that you are not alone, that to, that to tell you that you have power, you have authority. That's my job. And I will say it on the end of the month. Is that okay? All right, so... I, I used to watch series, you know, just sit down and watch and watch and watch. Um, maybe some of you, you must have seen that movie too. I, I can't remember the title now, but if my story resonates with what you have seen. Just let me know the title of that movie. That was this lady, an American, but also a Russian. 
and uh, she worked or she was working with the CIA in America at the same time working or working I beg your pardon with the Russian government so it was she was actually a Russian spy in America thank you ah, yeah yeah that's that's the name that's the title of the movie you know that you know you know you know right you know I, 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 I think at some point she was caught, something like that. Or I secretly leaked out to a colleague or something. Or I, don't, I really can't remember what happened. But the truth is they got to know that she was a double agent. And the only thing she could do was to run to, to the nearest Russian embassy in Washington, D.C. So she got to the gate and she introduced herself as a Russian. So they opened the gate. Don't forget, they wanted to apprehend her. They were pursuing her. They actually got to the gate with her. And then she, they opened the gate, and then she turned back. She looked at those, her colleague actually, who was pursuing her, and he couldn't do anything. And so the guy stood at the gate, waiting what was going to happen. So when she got in, they profiled her and then she requested to be taken back to Russia. So she was put in a vehicle. Don't forget, those who wanted her, they actually had, they were standing or they stood at the gate of the embassy. Very vehement, angry. And then she put her in a, in a, in a vehicle, a diplomatic vehicle, and they drove her out right in the presence of those who wanted to take her and they couldn't do in fact his colleague wanted to shoot her his senior said his senior said, you can't try have you forgotten you can't try this she's in a diplomatic vehicle you cannot arrest her now I began to think about that movie and Holy Spirit said to me that's exactly who you are The, the, the reason why an embassy exists in a country is to first of all represent the country. Uh, they re, they represent the country in another country and to carry out diplomatic duties on behalf. So every resources that is deployed to that embassy is to carry out diplomatic duties on behalf of the country, irrespective of. So it, no matter how small, it, like, if, if an embassy is just the size, it's actually not in that country. It is a country in another country carrying out the responsibility of that country in another country. If you, if you cannot, in fact, we went for a vacation in Ibado and I come to realize that that premise is actually a diplomatic premises. In other words, you, Nigerian police cannot perform their duty in that premises. So what did they do? They had to have another police post on the other side of that premises. So, we're, we're talking about the, believe, the believer's authority, right? And you can't talk about believer's authority without talking about power. We, everybody knows, seated right here, that you have a, a reasonable level of power, uh, dunamis, that's the, en the enablement to do, the capacity to do. You, you know, you are aware that you have a certain degree of power to exercise or to perform the duties of your father's kingdom. We all know, am I correct? Uh, Jesus was talking to his disciples in Matthew chapter, chapter 28. Actually, not his disciples, he was commanding everyone, including you and I. He said, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, etc., etc. We'll go back to that. But I've realized that looking through the epistles, uh, no, no, sorry, looking through the uh, uh, gospels, the synoptic gospels, in inclusive of John is not part of the synoptic gospels because they don't run parallel, parallel accounts. But Matthew, Mark, Luke, 
anywhere, including John, right? In this gospel, anytime Jesus gave power to his disciples or authority, they were expected to do something with it. I've said to us many times that when you a power that is not used is also an abuse of that power. So what is the benefit of you having power when you cannot exercise that power? So, I believe that in normal believers, we are not walking optimally. We are not exercising the duties of the kingdom that we represent here on earth as much as we should. It's either a function of not knowing who you are or other things. But I think primarily it's just because we don't even know who we are. A believer is not an ordinary human being. Maybe because there is no drama to our, to our, com our, 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 our conversion experience. We think it's just ordinary. Maybe because when we made the confession of, oh, I've received Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior, there is no earthquake, there is no uh, a splitting of rocks, there is no thunder, there is no, no drama. So we just think it's just, it's just normal. Sometimes you ask, what has actually happened to me? Nicodemus came to Jesus and he said, I, I, I've seen your works, I've seen that you, are, you have something inside of you. I am convinced that you are the Messiah, I know. And Jesus said, okay, the story of being born again came up. And he said, are you saying that I will have to be born, actually be natural, but go into my mother's womb, even as an adult to be born? Just, no, that's what I'm talking about. I think, the, I think we generally have a problem when we don't see drama. And that's, that happens to a lot of us. So, so that's why we see a lot of people. Sometimes people are in deep worship. They, they are folding their hands or they are in deep worship. And you just pops up for yourself. What's going on here? This man is not lifting his hands. He's not rolling on the floor. He's not, he's not feeling the way I'm feeling. He might not be feeling the way you are feeling physically. But the truth is he might just be gone with his, with his maker. Worshiping him in spirit and in truth. So... I submit to you without a doubt this morning that you have power, domicile, residence inside of you. And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit, maybe some of us, maybe you are still expecting the cloaks of tongue to rest on you physically to understand that you are not ordinary anymore. The, the demons, is, demons is not supposed to, to harass you. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, in my name they will cast out. In my name they will cast out demons. Uh, that means someone who just said this just now, I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Lead me, guide me. I, I believe you died on the cross for me and you rose again and my life is not the same again. Forgive me my sin. That, as that person immediately, something has changed from within. There is a, a new birth. There is something that has been uh, given to that person in the, in the spirit. And you see, when we want to know who we are really, it's good to look at, to go back to the beginning. Jesus said, come, let us make disciples in our image. Let us make man in our image out of our likeness. And he said, uh, they will have authority over everything that I've created. Have you asked yourself why is it that you, human being is one of the things or what perhaps the last thing that God created? Let them have dominion over the best of the sea. So, we are not actually ordinary. Say to yourself, I'm not ordinary. So when we look at the book of Luke, we just look at a few stories, a few texts of the scriptures. Luke chapter 9. Then he called his disciples to gather and gave them what? Power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Verse 2. 
He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Now, I need you to look at the, the, the order of that instruction. He gave them power and authority. Power here is um, uh, 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 dunamis and I think authority is exosia. That's being able, having the capacity to represent. Over all demons and to cure diseases. Verse 2. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. To preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. To preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. If you believe you have been sent, the truth is every believer is sent by God. You have a, a, an instruction to perform the duties of the kingdom. You are sent. We are all sent. You have a duty to do. So the function of the power and authority that you and I have to do, to, you and I have is to do the works of our Father's kingdom. I know we need healing, we need some, you know, some miracle, yeah, but primarily the power is given, the authority is given to preach the good news. If it's all about healing, Paul should be healed. Paul was writing Timothy and he said, I left him sick. He was talking about, I've forgotten the name, T, T something. He was saying, I, I, I left him sick. Are you saying Paul didn't have the power to heal? God could have healed him if he wanted to. But I'm saying that the primary reason why we will have power and authority is to further the works of the Father, is to further the kingdom of heaven. Is to be able to make disciples. People will need it. The truth is, some people will not believe until they have miracles, until they see a miracle. That's why a miracle will continue to happen. That's why healing will continue to happen. The truth is, wherever you speak the word, there will be freedom. People will be set free. God has the power to continue to heal people. But the power that is given to you, you and I, the authority that is given to you and I, is to be able to make disciples, to tell people about the good news of Jesus, to tell people about the kingdom of God. It's not for self, uh, 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 is it aggrandizement they call it? It's not so I can be considered as, as a powerful man of God. No! It's not about being able to or be perceived to be, to be great. Just like Simeon, the, the, the guy in the act of apostles. And you see, one thing about this power and authority is that a, a, a number of people are looking for it. But the truth is, it's right inside of us. So you don't need to look for what is lost, actually. What we should do is to look within ourselves. There could be a number of things where the power, where, why power and authority of God is not finding full expression in our lives. That's what we should deal with, not because not there. The moment that is dealt with, you just realize that you begin to function in the power and authority. And it becomes sinless, very easy to flow through you. God does not have reasons to hold his power. He doesn't withhold good from us. You see, the truth is that where whoever God has sent, and I believe God has you and I, he backs us with his power and with his authority. Because the truth is what does he hold for, really? Why will he hold? power? Where will he hold authority? Because he needs us to perform functions for him. Why will he not release? How can he not we go with Jesus? Freely give us all things. Don't think about yourself small. I was reading Luke, Luke chapter 9. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons. To cure diseases, sent them. That's the uh, the Greek is uh, uh, apostolos, the sent one. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, "Take nothing for the journey, neither staffs, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, 
and do have two church spies. And he continued, whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. Told them, don't go with a pause. The power I've given to you is not because it's not for you to make money out of it. When you bless people, the truth is that when you, when you heal them, it's going to come back to you. But that's not the... You don't have to go there. It's not about uh, uh, you. It's about me. Power and the authority of God is not for sale. It's not for sale. Which is where... Um, I don't know whether I should say this, but in case you are still buying some, I believe we don't have any of such in this auditorium. It's not uh, some some special prayer for me, and I'll pay for it. <laughs> buying special anointing oil, buying anointing. All of those things you shouldn't be found in places like that because you already have what you're looking for. What they will offer is not the real thing. That's the truth. No man should see himself as more. Let's leave that. Chapter 10. After these things, the Lord appeared. Appear 70 others Luke 10 verse 1 the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go then he said to them the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of harvest to send out laborers into, the, into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs amongst wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one on the road. But whatever house you enter, first the peace. To this house. I'm going to stop there. After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others. The Jews believe that this is a number that represented the, the Gentiles' nation. So, uh, symbolically, Jesus sent these ones to the entire world. So, uh, just like you and I have been sent to the world. He appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where himself was about to go. Their duty was to hear out the coming of the Messiah, the new kingdom. Then he said to them, the harvest is truly great, but laborers are few. Now, God did not send this one out. Jesus didn't send them out without backing them up. Because when you continue to read, it was impor it's important to recall it that we know what the feedback was. And when they returned, they were returned with joy, saying the demons flee. Let's go, let's go there. Verse 17. That the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. They were happy because of the miracle. Because of the healing, because of the casting out of demons, Jesus was quick to remind them that it's primarily not because you were able to heal 
these people, it wasn't because we were able to send out demons from them in my name. No, but primarily because you were able to tell them about me. I'm saying to you again that the reason for God's power and authority given to you and I is to able to tell people about Jesus. So I ask you, when last did you tell someone about the kingdom of God? And I'm just talking, I'm not talking about saying it. How long did you act like the one who spend the same money? They have the same identity. The, the number plates on the car will be the same with the ones in, the, in, their, in, their, in their home country. Turn on his lights to assess you. And you know, does this represent the life of Christ? And it's very easy to know. You can do an assessment of yourself. Galatians 5.22. Let's go to Galatians 5.29. Galatians 5. Galatians 5. Verse 19. This jealousy thing is even is something going. They had the resources, they had everything that they needed to make their master happy upon his return. How some of us think if you want to go through the um, grace, please see the ushers after the service also. Then um, we usually by 9:30 a.m. We usually gather here. We I mean, it is one of our we about between Monday and Tuesday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good close our eyes and stretch forth our hands towards them let's bless them let's bless them from our hearts the lord will increase them on all sides in the name of jesus this year will mark significant things in their life for good in the name of jesus we we'll pray oh god that god will meet them at the very point of their need in the name of jesus and we we'll pray in the mighty name of jesus that all that god has deposited in the inside of them will continue to manifest in the name of jesus in Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Thank you so much. Okay, can we be on our feet for family song? Let's be on our feet. Hold your neighbor. Have a word bank. It can, it can if I see something, it's even good. As a, I remember my dad will send me prayer, prayer points, prayer points, prayer points. By the time you grow old, you can pass it to your children, children too. And so develop it. Develop, have that habit. Over your health, there are scriptures for that. Over your business, there are scriptures for that. Okay? The Lord bless you. I decree over your life this week that goodness of the Lord will overtake you. His goodness will go ahead of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that favor will find you. Favor will locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this week, the Lord will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are unstoppable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, His hand rests upon you. Mightily is the hand rest upon you. The sun shall not smite you by the day nor the moon by the night. The Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, men will go out of their way to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Whatever needs to be moved shall be moved on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. If someone needs to be transferred so that you can come up to that place God wants you to be, that transfer will happen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week you will not be stranded. You will not be put to shame. You will enjoy the peace of God. I decree over you that the joy of the Lord will fill your heart. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that is making you to be depressed, they disappeared now. In the name of Jesus Christ, how, how did I know? Because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of you. So therefore, therefore, there can't be two masters in a car. Because God lives in you. 
sickness is not permitted in your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will enjoy the fullness of God in the name of Jesus you will see the hand of the Lord over every difficult situation you will find answers the Lord will level the valleys for you in the name of Jesus Christ every path that is crooked the Lord will make it straight for someone this week you will enjoy a safe passage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in your travelings the Lord will keep you he will protect your going out and your coming in from this day forward and forevermore in the name of Jesus over your children you will have rest in the name of Jesus Christ over your children you will have rest in the mighty name of Jesus over your spouse you will have rest over your siblings you will have rest in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord keep you the Lord bless you the Lord cause his face to shine upon you the Lord turn his face towards you may the Lord give you peace in Jesus Christ's name Amen turn to your neighbor and declare the word of the Lord over your neighbor say surely surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever forever and ever forever and ever Amen for the Lord of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death and so sin will not have dominion over you for the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of you for the same reason. Where are we? For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dwells inside of you and quickens your mortal bodies. Tell your neighbor this week you will not partake of evil. You will not partake of human wickedness. If a news is not good, it is not your own. Thank you, Jesus. Can we give all the glory? Give God all the glory. Give God all the praise. Give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Go and succeed in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week. Have a testimony filled week. Have a joyous week. Have a fulfilling week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never forget. Never forget. If anyone be in Christ, is a new what? He's never existed before. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Enjoy God. He loves you. He loves you so dear. And don't forget, we love you too. God bless you. Have a great day. May His favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children. May His grace.